What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris. That's Mike. We're doing The Walking Dead, episode 15 of season 8, yes. entitled Worth. Worth, worth, worth. So, uh, guys, here's the deal. Mikey and I have been talking a lot about, the, about this particular show, The Walking Dead, and we just haven't really felt like, I don't know, we don't like the way we were talking about the show and, and what's going on. So what we're doing is we're going to change it up a little bit and um, we're going to we're gonna make, be a little more concise. We're going to give you all the good stuff about the episode up front and then we're going to go into the things that we didn't like so much about the show, um, <laughs> about this particular episode. Uh, so we're going to try and be a little more concise for you guys and, um, you know, give, give it to you like that. Uh, so having said all that intro, let's, let's talk about, man, let's talk about some of the good stuff that we liked about this episode what do you got mike what do you got for us well i have a lot of bullets for the good things i actually enjoy this episode quite a bit uh maybe a little bit more than you but mm -hmm. um the opening really got me uh i enjoyed the fact that the opening letter obviously that, yeah. that rick was reading the opening of the letter and the opening of the show <laughs> yeah the opening of the show exactly because that's you know how we how we saw everything so it was emotional in the fact that we saw um, Jerry carrying Gracie around while we heard Carl's words and so Judith and playing with yeah Michonne. we saw Judith playing mm -hmm. with Michonne so it was just uh it was just one of those um tugging at your heartstrings kind right. of a kind of a thing and it was uh, it was it was it was great to finally hear the whole letter. What did you think about the letter? Did you? I mean, obviously we it's it's not anything different than what he already said on his deathbed. It really wasn't. No, I, I like how they kind of dove into um, the reasons you know, re behind it, like remembering his whole, the pizza. Right. And remember, I think the walking, holding hands kind of thing and walk mm -hmm. with Judith because she'll remember that 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 stuff. I really enjoyed. Um, it was a great way to start off the the beginning of the episode. It's probably one of my favorite openers in a, in a while. Um, yeah, favorite episode yeah. also. Um since we're talking about the letters, we also enjoyed the Negan stuff, even though we're jumping ahead. You want to. Can we bunch yeah, that, that was another good ready? scene too. I at mean, the yeah, that that end capped the episode pretty good. I I thought that the I I liked how he was like, you know what? No, I'm done. You know, like she she thought she was giving you know, which is funny because did he did Rick tell her that he read the letter to Negan? He didn't read the letter to Negan. Well, he, but he told, he told him told... that he he told him about. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know if Michonne knew that that he told Negan because or not. Because maybe, because but... maybe he did say that. Oh, I told him about the letter. Like, you know, at some point off camera, right? So let's just say she she did know that he that he told him about the letter. Oh, he you know Carl wrote you a letter. He said right, yeah. but she was like, well, maybe I can read this to him and have it do something. And it it yeah. had the exact opposite effect, which I really I really enjoyed that. In that. Basically, Negan's like, I'm. You know what? No, I'm done with you. Because in yeah. his eyes, he's been giving them so many chances, right? It seems that way. It's, it's. Um, how else would you have been able to do it? I don't think that any of us viewing this this series would love them just to come to a peaceful agreement and and the war. It would just make no sense. So it was um it was a great scene overall because like you said, he crushes uh, Negan crushes the walkie talkie. He's like we're done. Yeah, we're done. You know the yeah. the the only thing if I want to nitpick about it is I would have been cool if Michonne started the letter off and it merged into Call reading it. Yeah, yeah, you know but I, I mean? think, but I think, I thought about that, but I think her reading it, like, because she was upset, like yeah. Carla would have just went to been like, you know, hey Negan, blah blah blah, but that wasn't what the scene called for. It called for that yes, yeah. emotion, and then his reaction to that emotion was, well, f you, <laughs> like that was that, was, and she was like, oh, like she got pissed, like she was like. Yeah. There's that, no so, there's no turning back. So that was there's a no good scene. That that whole yeah. that whole thing was a good scene. Yeah, it was. I mean, a lot a so lot yeah, of great, so, uh, great stuff. Good letter. Good letter stuff. Another good yeah. another another good scene that I that I enjoyed was the Gregory Simon stuff. Now these are two yeah. characters that you just love to hate, and they're played so well. Xander Berkeley and Stephen Ogg play those characters to a T. Like they're so good. Whenever they're on screen, even though I hate Gregory, I still yeah. love seeing Xander Berkeley. You know, sputtering and. You know, I just I just like that. And then Simon, of course, Simon's yeah. Simon's dope. He's just uh, you know. So that whole thing where Xander just goes, well, I'm sorry, Gregory goes off on him and he's like, I'm the juice and I did this and I did yeah. that and 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 he just you know, bitch slaps him, 
you know yeah it's great because it was it was only a small it wasn't even a huge scene right in in the in the the time span the length of it it but but it was impactful because it was um just great acting um like you said it's the one thing with Gregory still that's so funny is he still calls her Margaret oh, God, Maggie. Yeah, but that's the best. So that's what's what great about say. that. That's what's so it was, great. Yeah, it was a great acted scene, and you know. I love the "You got the juice, I am the juice" line. I just thought that was really cool. And that then at good, the end, yeah. it's like, do you know how to make coffee? Do you make so it's coffee? Almost like, yeah. yeah, it's almost like um, uh, uh, Gregory won Simon by by just that confidence and that. I, I am the juice kind of a thing because yeah. he said in, he said he was going to kill him. He's like, yeah, I wasn't going to send Joy. I was going to kill you, you know? But yeah. Now, so, you know. Uh, it was, yeah, it was a, it was a great, a short scene, but a great scene. Uh, yeah, I agree. That, so yeah, that was I mean, a, definitely a highlight. What what else we yeah. got? How about, um, what you got? Oh, you had mentioned that you like Dwight. Let's talk, let's go into the whole, uh, uh, D- Negan seeing Dwight or Dwight seeing Negan again for the yeah. first time since he was gone. And then that, that going into that meeting, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's the whole episode. It's, it's funny because we don't know when um, Negan is going to kind of put out that information. Cause we still never knew who was in the car until obviously the end of the episode, yeah. but it's funny. Cause you always have it in the back of their mind. Does Negan know when is he going to bring this out? And there was a few times with Dwight, especially like you said, after he returns and, and after the Simon stuff on his knees, which I thought was awesome too. It's yeah. like, let's everybody can leave Simon. You stay and like, uh Oh, here we go. You know what I mean? Dwight, Dwight. I mean, yeah. it was, it was just a big buildup of, um, it was just exciting and suspenseful because we didn't know when Negan was going to strike. Well, that, that was, was the thing. Great, yeah. Yeah, there's some great stuff with the Negan and Simon stuff. If you want to, if you want to dove in, dive into that. Well, that's the thing. Just oh, you know, just gent, uh, really quick as an aside. Just overall, the episode had it had some it had good it had good scenarios. When I say writing, I'm gonna I mean scenarios. I use those words mm-hmm. interchangeably because th- it had really good character stuff and and stuff that drove the story forward. When we have these these little conversations between. Uh, Maggie and Enid or you know Michonne and Ma- they they just don't do anything they're not needed yeah. like we understand where these characters are already we don't need unless it's a, unless something drastic changes in their personality or in their thought process then you can have that but this is my yeah. point this episode you know didn't do that every 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 conversation had a meaning you know and and yeah. and this conversation where he has Simon go down on his knees, th- you just don't know what he's gonna do. Is he gonna bash him? Is he not gonna bash him? Is he gonna, you know what I mean? Like that was great. That was good. And that you know, so to, for me, that was that was that was a, because now I'm just now I'm just laser focused on this writing and these scenarios. Like, is it good? Yeah. And there's some stuff yeah. later that we'll talk about that was not good, but um, <laughs> but I mean, no, the, all 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 good stuff. Um, I mean. I mean, pretty much. I think that's pretty much all the all of the best scenes and, and stuff. I, I, I did like a couple of things that um, uh, that we'll get into. That uh, I, I have some bright spots and some of the bad stuff. Let's put it that way. We'll go. Okay. We'll go that way. But um, so as far as all the best stuff, I think that's it, right? I think. Well, that's- I mean, the 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 one other thing that I have for for some of my favorite stuff is is I. Honestly, in the end, we see what Negan's plan really was. Oh, we right. See the, yeah, the, the... We see the Laura. We know. Oh, Dwight um, getting found yeah. out. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Dwight getting found out. And not even that, but by not killing Dwight and doing what Negan knew exactly how to play this. He knew, let me keep Dwight alive long enough to turn on Simon. Right. And then in the fact, know exactly what Dwight is going to do by making this fake plan. Yeah. And this, and this, and this, and this plot on right. Rick and, and the crew, because um, you know when that was revealed, I'm like, oh shit, because I didn't really know that until we we see that final scene. Where yeah, I like, oops, I knew exactly what you were doing, and I let it ride until I needed to, you know. So we'll see what happens with Dwight in the end, and you know, because now he's in, he's cornered. See, but that's the thing. That's yeah. what that's what I want from this show. Mm-hmm. It need we need more things like that. 
We need more. <laughs> we need more like side plans and and su- and mm-hmm. um subterfuge. You know, like we need a. We need. This is what we need. When this season started, when they were, when it when when uh, Rick's plan was slowly unfurling. You know, and we see like, oh, oh, and they were doing this. That's why those first four episodes were so good for yeah. me because, oh my God, this is another facet of that plan. Wow, this was a sick ass plan. Look at this plan, and then it just fell All apart right. because, yeah. I mean, literally and figuratively, because everyone like just stopped doing the plan. <laughs> and th- but that's also where the show that for me this season went off the rails is that you lost that, you lost that structure, and you yeah. lost that. That that really cool manipulation and that thinking. So I agree. This, you know, finding out that Negan's plan was that. It was just ingenious. But that's my point. We that's yeah. what it needs. The show needs an infusion yeah. of ingeniousness. It needs it needs that, you know, characters to be smart, to do this. You know, think of smart. Try and it needs to be that back and forth. Not not this tit for tat bullshit. I mean, yeah. an actual back and forth, like, oh, man, these, okay, all right, Rick, okay, I'll see that move, and I'll give you this move. This, it, I, they tried to do that, but it's really been, but to me, it's been such brute, brute forced, you know what I'm saying? It's not well, really, there's no finesse, like I said last <laughs> last episode for us, it, there's yeah, no finesse yeah. in any of this, and, and this show can be better than that. It goes to so, it goes it goes to what we said even a few episodes back when you get those best actors together and you have those best actors of the show the characters in in an episode they they tend to be the best uh, episodes period and I think that this is probably this one is of my, definitely one of them you know you know and talking about good acting okay again everyone mm-hmm. on the show is a really is a great actor but let's talk about Eugene because yeah this I, is the worst stuff now this is right? we're we're in the worst <laughs> section now okay. Yeah. I am just so over his speech, and it's hard to understand. Besides, b- a lot of the time, it's it's a lot of I mean muttering and yeah. I mean, I get, you get it. Like after the fact, you're like, oh, I see, you know. But the point is, it's like just stop. It's look, it's well. That's a he look. He he performed that beautifully. Let's not let's not you know let's not yeah. take that away from him. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. He, he, Josh McDermott perform. He does that character really well, and he does that dialogue really well. I'm just, just over him. I'm tired of the dialogue. Sorry, you dude. don't need it. It's you're again. You're you're ham fisting it. You're force feeding everybody. We get who he is. We mm-hmm. get it. Just just do a little bit of it here and there, and then you know. And Gabriel, real quick, shut up. Stop. Enough. Die already. We're done with you. Um, uh, both of them. Just uh, you I'm know, done. just the way he. Uh, yeah. Just the way. Um. You know, Eugene is eating the the macaroni and I don't, sardines, and I don't. It's look, I just, it's safe to say Mike and I do not like the direction that they've taken this Eugene character. Bottom line, the direction they've taken him is just no. Nah. You know, they they could have. I feel like they could have done. Uh, you know, again, I don't write for the show, all right. But as someone who's trying to enjoy the show, yeah. You know, the direction of this particular character is not great, and uh. It's about. I just think that it's. Listen, the. I mean, I know that you enjoyed the. Like the. Well, there were okay. So there were a couple of things I enjoyed. Yeah, I enjoyed him getting taken. That quick little scene of uh, Rosita and and Daryl. And that's like about it because. And then him. Yeah, him escaping was was again. But see, again, Mike. The reason I liked it was because it was ingenious. It was. He on the spot, or maybe not. Not so much on the spot because they were walking for a while. But he he decided. I'm going to do it. That's a testament to the character. He's a smart dude. Now, you were saying off camera, like, the one reason you didn't like that was because did you not think that he would have created a contingency plan for himself? It just, it's not he even survived that. this long, right? It's the fact that there was – it just shows uh, Daryl and, and um, Rosita as not being very they're, smart They're spoons. They're dull spoons, and it's he's like, and he, he happened to be like a fork at this point. You see, you get my analogy. I do get it, you and, know? and what's funny is it's Daryl supposed to be this expert tracker, so he's like, "Oh, he, look at his feet prints, his footprints nah. through the ashes. He went up this way." The whole episode, he's just been a it's, dunce, man. It's just like yeah. we you would would Eugene being, and you don't have to be the most intelligent being on the planet to realize that this guy is smart enough to know. I shouldn't walk through these ashes because I'm going to leave these prints behind and they will easily find me. 
you know? Yeah. And also he's tied up, so it's very difficult to move very fast with your hands like that. How the, like, how the how hell did, did how you did get that far, did they think? And without without that stuff being like overturned, like it was a little like, how did you completely get yourself in completely covered? Completely yeah. covered. I know. It was it was a, it yeah, was a so big... yes, it was it was silly and and I, and I enjoyed the silliness of it, but again, these are they're they're like dumb decisions. Speaking yeah. of dumb decisions, yes. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but Aaron oh my just God. died. That those scenes did not Well, he's planning on he he's taking your he's taking your advice there because what the hell is his What are you going to do if he you wants, don't He get... wants them to join. And he's All right, gonna... so you're you're at that point where you're on the on the that close to dying you have no the girls even they're walking over him saying you better get yourself water quick buddy so his plan obviously isn't working so now is he that does he feel that strongly about his plan to get these people that he's willing to die himself i i just feel like listen you dude you've been out there who knows how long what's the motivation Uh, right what's the real motivation do you want to die because you lost your boyfriend or do you want to help the the people it's just a stupid plan i didn't i didn't really when when we first when he first um was with enid and Enid left i really was kind of uh you know whatever in fact can i tell you dude when when they see yeah, when these scenes popped in, I was like, wait, what? What's happening? Dude, I didn't even remember. I'm like, why yeah. is he here? Well, I thought he was what? Dude, yeah, that's what I'm mess. saying. I will he's say this, mess. though. I will say this, though. Some mm. cool one-on-one walker action. That was cool. Yeah. There was that a was lot harrowing of cool walker action, actually. Because, because, because he's like, he's weak. He lost a knife. Like, that was kind of cool. I enjoyed that. That was Well, a, I'm not even talking with him. I'm talking, no, I'm talking the fact that, yeah, um with uh with simon simon was an awesome walker there was one scene oh, yeah, where there was, yeah, when he, there was when a he walker died, yeah. tied up on the fence um i forgot exactly what scene it was but in the beginning it was, it was a yeah. cut scene too for commercial so he the walker kind of turned it was chomping and then the screen just went black that was, was well dwight because dwight was and then dwight looked at it was after negan talked to him it was a cool I yeah think, it was, i think um, something like that i'm sure everybody simon maybe it was simon him. anyway um Another thing that I did not like was that fight. I was all psyched for it. I'm like, oh, dang, this is going to be cool. And then it was not cool. It was like Simon is such a badass. And he came out like they they made Negan like too much of like too much. Like you made him like he's too much of 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 a badass. And he's rocks. He basically Simon like and he let up on him. Like he Simon came out and hit him a bunch of times, dude. He got him yeah. on the ground, and then he just ends up not. Like, come on. I, I'm listen. I enjoyed it. I didn't think. But I mean, why but, did you enjoy it though? It was I, dumb. I, I mean, I thought it was. A, I thought it was a good fight scene. I, I I thought it was a little Hollywood with the fact that, like you're saying, uh, Simon came out with some that back fist and all these. And at first, for the first. 10 hits each none of them even had a single mark on them i thought right, it was a little yeah. funny but um i mean i just thought it was good i the only thing the only negative i have about the fight is i was um almost um hoping that that we were gonna get a head bashing yeah you know? again and, we, and that again too yeah he choked him out i mean a little badass that he that he you know he literally choked him out in front of everyone yeah. like that was that was you know that okay it's establishing but they just make they just make him like he's too much of a badass. Meanwhile, to me, Simon's way more scarier than than Negan. You take away Negan's bat and like, oh, but that's what they're showing. Like he's not just a man with a bat. He's like, well, it just you know, I mean, I that know. goes on. Like that goes like on it. the character and the actor. Um, you know? uh, don't get me, don't get me wrong. You know, JDM is awesome, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't like it. It was dumb. I thought I I I don't like that Simon went out like a bitch. He was a cool looking huh? walker. Good he walker. He was really cool. Yeah, he was good. He was you good. Know? Um. I don't know, man. That you know, that's really it. I mean, I, 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 I'll briefly mention that I didn't like them out by the dumpster. I thought that again, the writing of that scene was just dumb. Like, you, really, no one's gonna notice fourteen guys going outside, and then, excuse me, and then they're standing in the in the exact area that Negan just always happens to be in. They're not they're not hiding somewhere. They're right in the open. They're right outside the doors. 
Like, but what? I, thought, I kind of thought that too, but I thought it was comical when Negan popped out from behind there. Oh, that was, well, that was fun because it, I was like, well, you deserve this. You, you absolutely deserve this. Yeah, it was. He's like, was... no, and they all get shot. You deserve it. You're dumb. And then yep. the thing is, um, character wise, Dwight, like, you know, he's, you know, Dwight, Dwight. I mean, we know he got found out and everything, but like, I don't know. I mean, it was, a, it was a, I will, I will say I enjoy the episode even though it doesn't seem like I didn't, I, I, I did enjoy this episode more than I, than like the past 10 episodes. Um, there were, there were a lot of little twists. There was a lot of, a lot of good story stuff. Um, there were some dumb scenes, dumb, some dumb writing, some dumb scenarios, which I, I hate, but you know, overall, yeah, this, 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 this was a good episode. Yeah. Um, for, as, as for a setup episode, I don't know. I think they could have set up, uh, set it up better or maybe i'm just used to them setting them up more you know because we have one episode left so i don't know what what did you think overall overall, overall? i thought it was i thought it was great i mean mm. i really did like the episode it's, it's one of my favorites uh you know of really season, yeah. uh, of the season uh so far I, I did like the the premiere with carl and carl's death and stuff like that too but i mean uh yeah overall like i said before when you get the great the better actors the best the best characters together um, yeah, you get some. Chances, you get some good stuff. Yeah, yeah of the course. The chances of having a better episode, obviously, absolutely, yeah. Increase, so, cool. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it. That that's. I think that's enough. <laughs> that's a, that's a show. Well, we, we tried to break everything up into, into the best and worst instead of how we uh, consistently have been bashing. A well, lot that of was the thing. Lately, we decided, so. you know what? Let's 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 highlight the good. Let's get let's let's get in there and and mm-hmm. then not not mix it up with the bad, and then let's just get the bad out of the way too, and. You know, just a little more structure for us. I hope you enjoyed it that way. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your best and worst scenes were. You know, let us know yeah. what, what your highlights were. And, you know, as always, we're going to continue the conversation down below in the comments, right? But, yes, uh, sir. Mikey, where else can they get to us? Uh, get us at Third Person Pod, of course, on Facebook and on Instagram. And don't forget to have a listen to us at Third Person Pod on on iTunes, I should say. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You know, we also have a website. It's it's thirdpersonpod.com. Uh, is our website check and, it out <laughs> yeah you can check that out too it's not a lot of stuff on there right now because it's mainly a youtube thing but anywho that's gonna do it guys let's gear up let's get ready episode 16 is just right around the corner and uh yeah we'll hopefully we'll finish strong right Peace. Peace.